everyone. You find me today moored up right outside the famous Adelphi Silk Mill. Okay, there's no silk being made here today. It's been converted into offices, apartments, and there's a cafe here as well. I can tell you back in the day when it was built, well, construction started in 1851 and it actually opened in 1856. Well, I know there's a lot of surmising about the Macclesfield Canal here and its importance with the mill industries, be it silk, cotton, or even bread. Because we passed the Hovis Mill, which will be in another episode, probably after this one actually, but we passed the Hovis Mill back in Macclesfield. Macclesfield, of course, is also has a famous silk mill there, or did have. Of course, we're on the famous Macclesfield Canal here. Um, and what I didn't realise until I did a bit of research, the construction of the Macclesfield Canal was first thought about in 1765, but they didn't actually start building it until 1824. It didn't actually open until 1831. So anyway, today is going to be a little bit talk. We're in Bollington, by the way. The Adelphi silk mill here is in Bollington. And Bollington is known as the happy place. Apparently, it's voted the best place to live in northwest England by the Sunday Times. Anyway, we're going to do a tour of the town. And I'll catch you later as we're walking through the town. Well, the sun's out. What a beautiful day. Let's go for a little walk around the town of Bollington. Going up the towpath at the moment and down the steps. There's the canal here. It's right on the side of the hill. The Middlewood Way runs down the old railway. I believe it was the Macclesfield, Bollington, and Marple Railway, which is now a linear park. Down the steps we go. I did count these the other day, I think there was 52 of them. I think we should take a little walk up and have a little closer look at the Adelphi Mill here. Let's say this was a silk mill originally. Now it's offices and apartments and there's a cafe here, which is open, I believe, Monday to Friday, 8am to 2pm. The mill originally had an octagonal chimney built of stone. Unfortunately, this was uh, demolished in the 1980s. Here we have one aqueduct here at the town of Bollington and there's another one just up the way. As we walk down the street, down to the main, I guess the high street where most of the shops are, we see some flags and bunting up here. That's because this is the Platinum Queen's Jubilee weekend. I guess as we approach what is the main shopping area in Bollington, there's not an awful lot of shops here, but it looks like there's a new bar and restaurant opening up here. And right next door, there's a Tesco's Express opening up also. Tesco's Express, I believe, opens on the 26th of July. And we have here a lovely village butchers. I do like these places. You do get some really good local produce. As we continue walking we see some lovely stone built cottages here. This place here appears to be a delicatessen cum cafe. Some rather nice lupins here out of flower. Here is the local post office, and always 
a very handy place for me as a boater for getting deliveries. A beautiful camellia here. Well, I think it's a camellia anyway. And we have the co-op here, which is open, I know. I just stopped and did some shopping here also. As we're approaching the old railway line here, this is now the Middlewood Way. I'm going to bring this video to a close. This is going to be part one, and then part two will follow tomorrow, hopefully. In the second part, we visit Bollington Brewery. But the internet around here is not very good. So this is probably going to take six or seven hours just to upload this short video. And a big thank you goes out, of course, to my Patreon and PayPal supporters. Don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe and hit the old bell notification button. That way YouTube will inform you every time I upload a new video. Well, that just leaves me to say, thank you very much for watching. Trevor out.